Dancing Around Encore, the sequel to Baron Films' international success, Clowning Around, is currently on location in and around Perth. You may have seen them um, shooting their scenes around the city and suburbs, setting an example of the vitality of the state's film industry. And to find out about the production side of the movie and their great plans for the future of them all, David Rapsey from Baron Films joins us, and well-known character Sim Clayton Williamson. Good morning to you both. Thank you for your time today. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, last week, I believe, David, Last, yes, week of last, last week of shooting here in Australia, then the crew moves to Paris for a short uh, segment in Paris. You must be really thrilled with the character you uh, landed, Clayton, as Sim. Mm, it's great. It's fantastic. Uh, did you think that you'd be coming up with part two, or encore as you're calling it? No, I didn't. After the, um, after the first one, I didn't think there'd be a shoot as great. Yeah. I mean, pa Paris was fantastic. That's terrific. It's a great opportunity for you. What's your background in acting, actually, Clayton? In acting, um, this is my sixth. TV series. Yeah, that's not bad. I've had um, a show called Ellie and Jules. Yes, of course. And um, Body Surfer. Yeah. And two other little ones in Sydney. Well, you're a professional actor. Obviously, it's taking up most of your time. <laughs> oh, I wish it? it would take up more. <laughs> well, be great. well, with the success of this, David, you must be very thrilled. Very pleased to have uh, got a sequel. It's always important to a production company to carry on uh, with a sequel like this. It secures our buyers. It's much easier for us to go forward with it, partly because we're able to draw on the talents of actors like Sim and uh, Jean-Michel Bagoli, who was on the first series, continue with the success that we had on the first one. It's good media, for us. There was a media opening recently. We are looking at the vision of which you have uh, no access to at the moment there, but uh, it was for the, an opportunity for everybody in Perth to get to speak to you all at Baron films and actors and so forth and, and realize just how terrific the industry is going in WA. Well I'm not sure that I'd say that the industry is in terrific shape. I think it's going to it's be going in to the be, next yeah. year. Uh, Baron Films has been very busy but unfortunately there has been a downturn in the industry all across Australia. Uh, we're just very lucky that we've been able to keep in production. Um, actually for yourself Clayton, do you like working with film or, or do, you, do you prefer studio? Uh, well, I love film. Yeah. I love film. I love. I just love it. Being out on location, it's fantastic. Yes, it must uh, feel a little bit more natural for all of you, actually. Mm. It's um, very natural to go to Paris, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going to happen over there, actually, David? What, what sort of scenes you're shooting? Well, there's actually a considerable portion of the series is set in Paris. Uh, three episodes, basically, are set in Paris and the tiny bit of the fourth episode. Uh, however, we shoot the Paris interiors here in Australia and the exteriors uh, that are matched up to it are shot in, in Paris mm. and as I say we have four or five days in Paris. Now just tell us a little bit about your character Sim for those that haven't seen Clowning Around. How did you get, how, how did you sort of get to be who you are today in Encore but in Clowning Around? Well um, in the first series it was just it was just a boy who always wanted to be a clown. He always wanted to be a clown and he um, through the series he overcame a lot of a lot of problems and he ended up becoming a clown in Paris. But he, and he met a lot of uh, terrific people along the way. Mm. Oh, uh, first one, of course, uh, well-known American actor, Van Johnson. Yeah, he was great. He was Wasn't fantastic. He? Hated talking. Pardon? He hated talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, don't think, I don't think I ever heard him quiet. No, I absolutely agree. <laughs> uh, our favourite person, of course, is Ernie Dingo. He's back yeah. with you in Encore. Yeah, he's here somewhere. Uh, he's and around. what about Ernie's character? He sort of pops in and out of your life a bit, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's my best friend. He plays my best friend, so he's always popping up and helping me out. David, how, I mean, it seems that um, it is well received overseas, but do you think you can get to a bigger market with this Australian style of entertainment? I'm not quite sure what you mean. It uh, certainly has sold Being widely accepted. overseas. It has sold virtually in every country around the globe. Um, really, I suppose, uh, asking whether our um, very Australian ways are accepted, or whether people are getting more educated to understand the way we talk and think and act and so on. I, I think the real relevant question there is, are Americans getting used to us? We have a major American partner in this uh, called Wonderworks. It's part of the PBS network. And interestingly, uh, it, it isn't quite mainstream television in the sense that it has a history as a public broadcaster. However, they are extremely interested in it precisely because it's set in Australia, precisely because people are different. They have 
certain restrictions about words that we use if they think that their audience is not going to be able to understand them. However, you know, provided the context gives us the sense they're absolutely happy with Australian yeah. expressions and, to say, delighted with the visual environment, it's something that they can't get themselves. And it's, uh, you know, it's certainly testimony to the success of the thing that they've gone on with a second series with us. I guess the introduction of uh, well-known overseas names, for example, like Van Johnson last time, Philip uh, Morris, known for Tracks of Glory and Mission Impossible, that inclusion would help the market. Yes, it does, but I'd have to say to their credit that what they're really impressed with is um, with Clayton as Great. an actor, that, that it is in fact those central roles that really make the difference in this series. I mean, Clayton plays a role that's, you know, 20 times the size of anyone else in the series, and if he wasn't wonderful, it wouldn't carry, and he is. Uh, actually, the interesting uh, Clayton as to how long you can play Sim. I mean, you've got to grow up. We can't have an aging clown oh, <laughs> continuing no. with clowning around number six. Oh gosh, <laughs> we're, we're giving him stunt hormones. To sort of yeah. Yeah. Keep him down. Yeah. That's the trouble, isn't it? Uh, things do change. Well, actually, yeah. what we've done with this series is the series has grown up with him. We've actually brought the age of the characters up and yeah. changed the problems. He has uh, girl problems in this series. He didn't have any in the first one at all, <laughs> and the the whole nature of the material has changed to some degree to accommodate his changing age. Very good luck with this. I know it's going to be an, another great success around the world and uh, very nice to meet up with you. Thank you David and thank you Clayton. Thank you Bye. very much. And Bye -bye. Uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Okay. We'll take a break. Cool clear water in just a moment.